Hi guys, my name is Chad Trofgerben. I am the founder and content creator for IncredibleTutorials.com. I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 9 tutorials. So let's get started. The drawing tools in Anime Studio Debut are important because they allow us to create the objects and characters we'll be using in our animations. In this tutorial, I'll break it all down and tell you what each tool does and the advantages it brings. The Select Points tool allows us to select points on the Anime Studio canvas. For instance, I could click and drag and encompass the entire star to highlight all of its points. This way, I am essentially selecting the entire star. If, however, you just want to edit a few select points, you can click and drag to select just the points that you want to edit. The Translate Points tool allows us to move points on the canvas. An example being this star, I can click on the edge point here, click and hold down my mouse button and drag around to create the effect that I am changing this shape. This can be useful if you want to alter a shape or make a new shape entirely. Used in conjunction with the Select Points tool, I can highlight the entire object, or just part of the object if I wish, take my Translate Points tool, and move those selected points on the canvas. The Scale Points tool allows you to scale or resize objects on your canvas. If I take the tool and click on one of my points, you can see that I can't do a whole lot with it. However, if I click in the middle of the object, a red box appears with points allowing me to resize the object in different ways. The corners allow me to resize the entire object. The left and right points allow me to resize the object horizontally. And I can resize the object vertically as well. The Rotate Points tool allows us to rotate objects on the canvas. In this case, you can see I have an arrow where all of the points are selected. By taking the Rotate tool, I can just rotate this around and move it however I wish. The Add Point tool allows us to draw on the canvas using a series of points. So for instance, if I lay my cursor on the canvas and click and drag outward and release, you can see I have created a line that is made up of two points. From here, I can continue onward just by going from point to point to create an object I want. Now, when I get to the part where I want to close the object off, I will want to bring my last point to the first point. The object will automatically then fill in with its line color and fill color because I have the auto fill option selected. Auto Weld will also allow us to easily connect points together. And your color and other line settings are dictated by your style panel. The Freehand tool allows you to freely draw on the canvas as if you were using a pen or pencil. Bringing the tool to the canvas, we can click and hold down our mouse button and create an object. As you can see, the object is still made up of a series of points, just like as if you were using the Add Point tool. You also have similar options above, such as Auto Weld and Auto Fill, to create an object if you decide to close your lines in. The Draw Shape tool allows you to create a bunch of different shapes. When the tool is selected, you can come above and select a rectangle, oval, triangle, and more. So by selecting the rectangle, you can come down here to your canvas and click and drag to create a rectangle. And you can move your cursor around to adjust the size. Once you've done so, release the mouse button and your rectangle is now in place. If you would like to draw a perfect shape, such as a perfect square, hold down the shift key while drawing out your shape to keep things in proportion.
If you want to change the color of your line or your fill or the line thickness, you can come over here to your style panel and adjust the colors accordingly. The insert text tool allows you to insert text in the form of vector shapes. Click on the T icon on your toolbar and a new window will pop up. Here you can enter in text, select a font, as well as alter a bunch of other options. Once you are satisfied with your text, you can click OK. And now you have some text on your canvas. And this can be treated like any other vector graphic. The scatter brush tool allows you to lay down a number of preset graphics built into Anime Studio. As an example, if I take my cursor out here to the canvas, hold down my mouse button and drag along, you can see that I am creating a line of bugs. And that is because at the top here, I have the insects option selected. I can choose from many more options such as bubbles, landscape, leaves, and more. So if I choose smoke, you can see I have a variety of different smoke puffs coming up from the brush. The delete edge tool allows you to delete a line set between two points on an object. So if we take the tool here and click between these two points, you'll see that it deletes the connecting line to those points. At the same time though, it breaks the fill of the object since it is no longer enclosed. But now from here, I could take my add point tool and create an entirely new shape if I wish and close the object back in. The curvature tool allows us to alter the curves we have on an object. So in the case of the star, if I bring the tool over here to this point that connects these two lines together, and I simply click and drag, you can see I am altering the curve of that point. And I can do so for any of the points I see on my star or on any object that I may want to alter. If you want, you can take the selection tool, highlight the entire object, and then use the curvature tool to alter all the points at once. And that concludes this lesson on the Anime Studio Debut Drawing Tools. If you want more information on Anime Studio, please check out the official Anime Studio website. Thanks for watching guys, I have more Anime Studio 9 tutorials out there, so check them out, and I'll see you next time.